Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. In March, the popular weekly public radio show, This American Life, retracted its most downloaded episode. The episode, titled Mike Daisy and the Apple Factory, was adapted from Daisy's one-man show called The Agony and the Ecstasy of Steve Jobs. A Shanghai-based journalist for another public radio show discovered that Daisy had fabricated key details about working conditions at a Chinese factory that manufactures iPads and iPhones for Apple, the highly profitable American computer and software company. Daisy had described meeting and speaking with workers at Apple supplier Foxconn's plant in Shenzhen, China. Some of these workers, he claimed, were as young as 12 and 13 years old. Daisy described meeting other Foxconn workers with severe disabilities resulting from exposure to dust and chemicals at the plant. Many of his claims proved to be false, or composites of several different anecdotes Daisy had heard, rather than witnessed. The host of This American Life, Ira Glass, devoted an entire program to a retraction and apology. Critics say that not only did Daisy lie, the news about his fabrications distract from the poor conditions that do exist at the Chinese factory. They point to more responsible reporting like that of Charles Duhigg in the New York Times as a counterexample of shedding light on poor labor conditions in China. Daisy, however, stands by his piece. While he admits it is not technically accurate and has apologized for the exaggerations, he says the episode shed needed light on poor working conditions in Chinese factories that contract with and supply American companies. Indeed, Foxconn has recently undergone a labor audit and says it plans to raise wages and change its policies on overtime. What do you think? Is what Mike Daisy did ethical? Should he have clearly labeled his one-man show as fiction? Is it ever okay to lie in service of a larger truth? This is Terence Hurley from the Carnegie Council. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.